doing. Just wanted to update you guys on my unlawful arrest. And on the 24th, I went to court and found out they dismissed my charges. It says order of dismissing criminal complaint. And everybody was uh, wondering what was going to happen with my case. Uh, you know, I tried all the civil civil rights attorney and they weren't willing to help. I showed them the video of what happened there at the public defender's office. But, you know, they tell me, they make an excuse telling me that after watching the video that they don't take cases like that or they're too busy and they have too many clients and excuse after excuse. So this is a, uh, when I went to court on the 24th, this is the, well, actually what happened is right when I got on the phone with the judge, uh, before he even said anything, uh, I was disconnected. So, but when I called back, uh, this is what he told it was dismissed, and let's see what it says, uh, order dismissing criminal complaint. This matter has come before the court upon the motion of the defendant that the above style caused be dismissed to failure of the state to prosecute and the court finds that the defendant was not responsible for the failure to complete the disposition of the criminal proceeding. Without prejudice, the complaint may be refiled. If the complaint is refiled, the defendant shall promptly respond to any further communications from the court concerning this matter. Pat Cordell, Judge. Yeah, I went through three public defenders, you know, which was stupid. But, you know, I couldn't do, wouldn't be able to do it with the help out of a, with the cameras everywhere. I want to appreciate cameras everywhere for, you know, the great strong support given, given me my, my channel. <clears throat> And all his auditing followers who supported me and said my channel. <clears throat> I want to appreciate all you guys that, you know, kept your prayers for me while I was going through this. And I also want to thank Horizon City News Services for keeping my heads up while I was going through my arrest. And he still keeps me informed <clears throat> with other auditors and that are struggling and need help and great auditors that I can learn from. And I want to also thank uh, I on the state for making a short video on my own law follow arrest also and strong support he has given me and my channel with more viewers and subs and another another auditor I want to also thank is uh, Film Cops TV for making a short video on my law follow arrest also and giving my channel and and myself strong support. And everyone who <clears throat> learned about my unlawful arrest, you know, it's uh, you guys' support helped very, very much. And you know, everyone who subbed my channel, viewed my channel, and supported my channel that helped me a lot. And without everybody that helped sub subbed and viewed and gave great comments, you know, I'm pretty sure this helped me uh, get this case dismissed. So, but I'm still going to ask questions about, you know, how come it got dropped, you know, because, like I said, the, the phone, the line, I don't know what happened to, when I was talking to the judge, it got, it got hung up on me or whatever, so, but, what I was told at the magistrate court when I went down there to go pick up my paperwork, and the security guard was very unprofessional, and I found out his name was Mark Counterman. Uh, what they told me was failure to prosecute. They had a, a certain amount of time they were supposed to prosecute and take me to court on my charges. But it never happened because, you know, I guess they found out I was well with my rights as a constitutional protected activity. 
So, okay, everybody. I'm out.